make sure you fold it so that it's wide enough. Good. That's exactly the right amount. And this one is a little bit smaller. So put that there. And then this one, so as not to waste all this extra fabric, I'll do that separately. Pin these into place. And as in the previous videos, cut it. Cut it around the shape of the pattern. Now we have the three pieces. This is the back. This is going to be the between the legs, the crotch area. And here is the front. And here is the front. Take care of your pattern. I'm being very careless, but you're going to be using, once you find a pattern that you really like, you'll be using them over and over. So, be sweet with them. Here's the, actually this is the back because it's bigger. And this is the front. Now we're off to the sewing machine. My husband's on the phone, so I'm sorry for that noise. But All right, so we're going to first sew these two. This piece to this piece. Well, what's wrong? Well, it came out a little bit bigger than I wanted. That's okay. The crotch is a little bit smaller, but that's all right. That can be fixed then when we make the hand. So, first we're going to sew along this part. When you're, stretch, when you're sewing on stretchy fabric, it's important to stretch it out as far as it will go when you sew. Because if you just sew it without stretching it, the yarn will, will not be long enough, and then when you put it on, it breaks. So stretch it as far as you can, and then sew. See how I'm stretching it? This goes the same. This is one of the ways to deal with stretchy fabric. There are other ways, but this is the way that works best for me. I stretch it as far as it will go. So as you can see, with stretchy fabric, the seam is not as neat as with regular cotton fabric. But it's important that when you sew it, as I mentioned, stretch it really tight and then sew. That way you have enough thread and it gives. Some people like to use the zigzag. I find that this the straight stitch works best for me. So anyway, so that's your seam from the outside. Now we'll do the same. We'll sew on the other side. This side will go like this, like that. Right sides together always. Okay, back to the sewing machine, and I'll do the same thing to this side. Now, if you're a woman, you know that we, we often like to have kind of a cotton lining in our panties. This is plain cotton. It's actually a piece left over from my t-shirt project, the first video I made. I'm going to cut another crotch out of this and use it to line the panties. Here's the piece I just showed. Now, had I remembered to do this ahead of time, uh, this piece is just sewn right here. You would just sew it in as if it were 
um, part of the the first piece. It's like a double, but it's it's really no different. Maybe if you want, you can cut it a little thinner, so when you do the hems, it's a little easier to fold over. You see, it'll be like that when you when you hem the raw edges. But all the rest is the same. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Here, then, we have this shape. You know, we've sewn the all right sides together, sewed the crotch in. Now, we just do this and sew the two sides. Now remember, the back is wider than the front, so it's not going to match exactly. See, it's, it's larger. I'll show you this way. The front is smaller than the back. So you just sew this side, and then once you've sewn that side, you'll sew this side. And it will be larger in the back. That's okay. As in all my other videos, I guess you're starting to catch on if you've watched it before. Turn it inside out. This is the basic finished product. Of course, you still have to do some hemming. I like to use the zigzag stitch for the raw edges. I fold it over. If you really want to be neat, you can fold it over twice. And then zigzag stitch all along the hem. Now, sometimes you'll find that they're larger than you expected. Maybe you calculated wrong and they're too big. No problem. You just fold over a hem on the top and stick a piece of elastic through, as I showed you in the peasant blouse video. You know, you make a hem, leave a little space, and feed a piece of elastic through. Sometimes you realize you've calculated too short. There's no problem there either. All you do is then add a waistband, uh, just a, a, a loop of fabric up on top, and add the waistband. So there are no rules. You just sort of make it as you go. Or once you get your perfect pattern that you've made and you've made a pair that you really like, make sure you you lock that pattern in the safe. Make sure you never lose it. And that's the one you'll use over and over again. When it starts to get a little crinkly, you can trace it until you have a new one. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.